First tonight, we are working new details on the very first murder in Providence this year. A man was stabbed and killed late last night, and now the victim's family is just trying to come to terms with what happened. It's our top local story. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler is live with the details from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Well, Nico, we've learned the victim is a 26-year-old Providence man, and right now investigators are searching for suspects in the city's first murder of the year. Crime tape lines Elmwood's Monty Street late Saturday night after police say a fight turned deadly. I heard the sirens go by and that was about it. Yeah, about six. I heard anyway. Investigators tell us the 26-year-old victim was visiting a friend at the home when he got into a fight outside. When officers arrived, they found the man dead on the front porch, stabbed multiple times in the abdomen. We were with the victim's family uh, last night and today. Really, it's a family of immigrants, good family, that uh, just painful to see them in their pain. We've learned several people were taken in for questioning Saturday night. Detectives returned to the scene Sunday, gathering evidence and talking to neighbors. Oh, yeah, very concerned, yeah, very concerned, you know. Hope they do something about it. Yeah, I might look behind my back a couple of times, you know. The last murder in Providence happened on New Year's Eve. Police tell us this is the longest span of time the city's gone without a homicide in recent memory. But with summer just around the corner, street workers say it's especially important to focus on prevention. It really doesn't matter today that it is the first matter of the year. Uh, it's, it's a homicide. We lost a life in our city. At this point, investigators won't name that victim or comment on a possible motive, but they say the stabbing does not appear to be gang related. Live outside the Providence Public Safety Complex with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.